Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of the Game of the Week. We have Germany. We're going for a science victory, and uh, hopefully this one goes well. Uh, I have a uh, start that I selected for us. Uh, it's got a bunch of rivers. Fingers crossed that those rivers lead to lots of commercial hubs and Hanses. Uh, so that we can do lots of beautiful things with the Germany uh, people. Uh, Germany has a lot of OP stuff. Many people consider them the best civilization in the game. I think for some reason I have my audio turned way down. Um, so I have an interesting start here. It's not OP by any means. It might even be considered below OP. Uh, but we're going to work with it. Germany, like I said, uh, each city can build one more district than usual, exceeding the normal limit based on population. Do not underestimate how powerful that is. Uh, it is extremely, extremely good. Uh, not only just in terms of, hey, I can build more districts, but being able to lock in the cost earlier on of more districts is extremely important. Being able to plop them down, even if you don't build them for another 20 or 30 turns, because you have that limit increase, you know, a lot of times if you get the pop four, you, you put down your two, two, and then it's like, okay, I gotta wait to get the pop seven. It might be 20, 30 turns down the road. But in this case, it's like, hey, you know what? It might be a while before I build it, but let's throw that commercial hub down because I can do it, even though we're only pop four. We've got the science district down and whatever else you've got down there. And you're still like, oh, I can still throw that down right now. And then we at pop seven, I can put another one down. And next thing you know, we got four districts. So extremely extremely powerful you, you can make an argument that it's as powerful uh a unique ability as there uh, as there is in the game uh the u-boat whatever uh hansa amazing stuff uh it's a it's a really really powerful industrial zone uh special industrial zone for the germans it works completely different than normal industrial zones. It does not get adjacency based on mines at all. It goes plus two production bonus if adjacent to a commercial hub, plus one adjacent to an, uh, any resource, and then a standard one for each two adjacent districts, which is what normal districts give uh, for adjacencies. So it's actually better to be next to a resource than another, um, or like another district. So you're going to want to clump commercial hubs around your Hanses as much as possible in groups. Keep your cities nice and tight uh, in order to allow for that uh, to be a thing. So we will be looking very closely at trying to get some very powerful Hanses in this game. Uh, and uh, the, I guess the only other thing too is, is the unique ability of Frederick himself here. The extra military policy slot is really strong. Uh, it's not amazing, but any extra policy slot's nice. It's in particular nice in Merchant Republic when you don't actually get a military slot, but it allows you to actually put that, you know, if you say that you're going to be using limes to chop stuff down, uh, chop down your walls and stuff into uh, carryover production, it can be strong for that because that way you still have that uh, other policy slot. Um, the wild card, wild card policy slot still available, which is nice. Uh, the plus seven common strength when attacking city states not likely that we will uh if there's one in the way of us having a really good time then maybe we take one uh at some point it certainly it's a lot easier when you got plus seven combat strength but not something that we're specifically going to be looking to take advantage of in this particular run um for those of you watching here on twitch uh the game of the week um command uh, will give you all the information on the game itself uh, if you want to look in the details on YouTube uh, you will see the game seed the the um, the map seed and the conditions of the game itself so you can check that out if you wanted to play along um, it is a large map with eight sieves uh, wet and new uh, so those are the pieces of information I think you probably uh, would most want to know as we get started. <sighs> Kenjo, yes. 
Uh, so there we go. We're ready to go. Like I said, I, I got a start. Funnily enough, I actually found the start, and I was thinking it was a 2-2 two -two city center um, when I saved it up and was getting ready for the stream a couple hours ago. And now I've logged in and started the stream up and got the map loaded up, and I realized it's not a 2-2 two -two city center. I don't know what I was looking at or thinking, but it's actually a bit of a weak start right out of the gate. A really nice 2-3-2 two -two tile here. Uh, two three tile here uh, that we'll try to buy out too as soon as we have the money uh, some extra gold here is nice and another two two there so you know once we get out to these tiles here the mines we can work there's a two two out here there's mines out there we could do so there's a fair amount of flexibility uh, who knows what's up here but um, there's a few options that we'll be able to get into um, to make this city work the two three is really strong um, to help balance out some of the weaker tiles we may have to work so we're going to go ahead and drop this as far as alternatives you could move down um you know i don't know you could you could move down here i suppose and hope to find more hills closely um and like closer in the proximity uh but it's not going to help you immediately uh you could go over here and settle this to get the culture going right away uh particularly because it's kind of a weak um it's kind of a weak tile in and of itself. It's hard to work that tile. Uh, even when you put the plantation on, it's just two food and two gold with the culture. So it would be nice if we were standing on top of that instead, to be honest with you, but we're not. So say la vie. Um, and you could always cross the river here and grab the two, three immediately and get yourself closer to another two, three tile, but that's pulling you away from stuff that's potentially good up here. Uh, just before we do do it, just going to move my way up here along the flat land. Uh, we've got another one of those as well, uh, which is not too bad. It's unfortunate they're not hills, but uh, I think it's just plop down the city and go. Um, we will be working the 3-1, working to the 2-3 as soon as possible. It'll probably expand to there if I had to guess, but... Um, and we'll go with the scout. We do have a lot of land to cover, so it'd be good to be able to move quickly. Uh, it is an eight turn right now because we've only got two production total working. So we're going to be a little bit behind early. It's not going to be a fabulous start that way. Um, but hopefully we can get the production turned around once we get this tile working. And uh, hopefully we have some really good cities uh, to settle beyond this one. So uh, technology wise, I would say our best bet would be animal husbandry. Um because I'll probably want to work those two and even, well, that's a little bit extra. That's an extra goal, which isn't too big a deal, but pastures would be extra production, which would be nice. Um, yeah. Mining will, will be good as well once we get some of these hills. That's nice to see another hill there as well. So there's three hills in that second ring we can turn into two twos and then eventually two threes and two fours. So pretty solid stuff try and work I want to go along this river but I was following the flat land and this is all obviously not flat land and I'm gonna try and make my way back down to the river because I'm trying to follow along and see if we've run into anybody or run into some more spots for good cities so we'll check that out uh, and then I'll probably have my scout go this way and follow the river down there uh, we do have desert to the north here apparently so Petra hype uh, looks like that might be the beginning of a river um, so I don't know how far this river goes, but I'm going to follow this one left and this one right and see what happens. Um, okay, so next turn. Thanks for being here, folks. Appreciate it. Uh, all right, so we're going to come down to the rice here. Oh, there's a scout. Uh, so the river is coming in here. See, that's weird because it looks like this river is going this way. I wonder if that's just the river just bending around and like that again, or maybe it's a separate river. I don't know. Have to find out. Uh, next turn. Keep an eye on your gold at this point. And uh, I'm just going to step to the hill, I think. And then. Yeah, I just want to keep following the river. And then what I'll probably do is double back around to clean that up. 
just want to see if, if there's a city state at the end of it or if there's just more good land or whatever uh <laughs> petra hype is so last month yes mall saint michelle hype uh funnily enough next week we may be doing a run i have it in my head as a possibility for next week's run spoiler alert that may require some mall saint michelle You like your, <laughs> yeah. Saint Basil sounds slightly ridiculous at this point. All right, so this river is ending, but another one's starting. Maybe I don't want to get too far away, but this is a nice campus spot. So city, maybe a city here, a city here, kind of thing. If we've got the room, uh, we should take a look at the continents. By the way, that was wow. Feels bad, man. Well, feels good, but it feels bad because we actually see from our original location, we could see this mountain and they're determining that this particular mountain is part of the South American continent, which means we could see all three continents from the start and we did not get the boost for seeing a new continent. And the odds of us finding a fourth continent before we need to are pretty freaking slim. So that is rather annoying. Wow. Feels bad, man. All right. But we pop two. One good thing about having that three one tile at least is that we were able to uh, get quick pop growth. Two, and it's going to grab that. We're three turns from being able to buy the two three. Uh, but that does help to have that extra production working right there. Um, it's too bad that wasn't a better tile, though. Um. Oh, hello there, 4-2 tile. Um, so maybe it's city here, actually, on that 2-2. Two, two. We'll be able to grab that, stay on the river, and then maybe there's something here. Again, though, you kind of want to have, instead of big lines, you want to kind of have them grouped in boxes or in triangles so that you can squeeze in your... Uh... No boost for you, yeah, no kidding. Um... Across the river. Oh, there's a science city state. Uh, Hydromnet. 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 Probably Hydromnet, is it? Anyway, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And welcome. <laughs> Fake news. Fake news. All right. Uh, next turn we should get a meet, hopefully a first one. It's too bad that they couldn't have seen me. Okay, let's first meet on Geneva. That sweet, sweet 15%. Mmm, mmm, tasty. Uh, now that's a bit of a... Mm, I don't know if I want to go keep going past that. I feel like I, I don't want to get too far away from what could potentially be my land. I feel like I need to kind of get back here. Because this is just like, by the time I get past that, I mean, yeah, it's better to learn about what you've got. Sky Zoe. Oh, see, I really wish that we could get that sorted out. I need to just make that a priority. Rot row. Um, yes, EU4 is very addicting. Yeah. It is a very good game. I wish I could find the time to play it more, but I don't tend to see nearly as much enthusiasm. Uh, when I play that as I do this. So. EU4 is amazing though it is. Uh, so next turn I will buy that tile and that number will come way, way down. Uh, yeah, we'll come back here. What sorcery are you talking about? Uh, 
the long journey to get to there and then hopefully move along this river. River's continuing. Um, the state's not demanding land. Let's take a look here. Okay, Goody Hut. So we're working the two three. So that's the equivalent of working a two two there and a two two here. With bonus gold. Got that settler down to 10 turns. That's a pretty good number. Hey, Lolo, how are you? The only thing that doesn't take a while to do EU4 is make a mistake and waste out 1500. Yeah, EU4 is very, a very, very harsh game. There's no doubt about it. EU4 is a harsh, harsh game. I can attest to that. Free builder hype. Uh, so there's our animal husbandry. Uh, we do actually not have, I can work that for the housing and the gold. And then I could get out to those, but I have to buy the tiles. I don't really want to spend too much money early. Um, maybe we go to there, I guess. It makes sense to get started on that. That's gold you'd be turning down. Plus, it looks like we found ourselves a wonder, which is beautiful. Standard. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. It was a fantastic landscape. It was For a fantastic all? landscape. First. Yeah, first. Uh, I kind of want to follow this river now. Because this, again, this river is kind of getting further and further away from... My capital and, uh, and learning more information would be better than less so yeah i know rorim again so we're probably cursed boom <laughs> probably cursed rorim is gonna curse me oh there's another nice tile but out of range uh, so we can get that camp work that extra gold Let's not stand on the marsh where we're vulnerable. Uh, let's wait that. Ooh, mountains. It's a nice spot. So, I, I, you know me. Uh, I love the 2-2 city center, that potential there. That's a little far from here. Although, if we could get like a triangle of cities going somewhere in here to help out this city... Although there's a lake up there, so if we put a city on that lake and city here and a city there, we could do something with our commercial hubs and stuff out here. Potentially. In order to make a, a maximum industrial zone for our capital. Although our capital doesn't have a ton. I don't know. I'm not even sure. Like, Ruhr Valley, obviously, for our best city. I'm not sure what's going to happen there, but I really we want to maximize as many revise or as many luck uh Hanses as we can. Sorry.
Uh, no, Artemis... I never go for Artemis on Deity. It takes absolutely way, way, way too long to build. Uh, it puts you way too far behind. Uh, I find on Deity. Uh, it's very strong. If, if you know, if you, if you feel like you're going to be, you know, you're going to kind of grow tall and not have less cities, uh, it's very strong. It's a very strong wonder, but it just you have to get it going very, very early. It sacrifices at least one, if not two, cities, so it can be difficult. Yeah, and yeah, Boom said it there. But also, the biggest thing was I had a lack of production early on, uh, Grandpa Zola. I only had one production here and one production there um, in my opening bid. So the Warrior, I think, was 10 turns. Uh, I was able to get it a little bit quicker once we got these two tiles going. But um, yeah, I, I had to go scout just because Warrior was going to take a lot longer. Plus, it's a large map, so... It's going to be a lot of land to cover, so it'd be good to have a scout. Yeah, well, I have lots of chops. I could, if I wanted to, I could get a builder and chop down a bunch of stuff and build it. Like, I could make, I could get Artemis, and it would be a very good one. There's, I mean, yeah, I'd be probably, what, eight I can see right now if I put Artemis right here. But it would also be in my best campus location, and... Um, it would just it just puts you so far behind. I'm just not a big fan of doing Artemis. Um, I'm just I just I feel like it's an amazing wonder, but on Deity, I just I just hate being so far behind. You get you're just so far behind. Yeah, and river chops especially because uh, lumber mills and we don't have a ton of production in the capital, so. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to do with the Builder now. That's going to hurt. Um. Ooh, hello there. So we got rivers going everywhere. This river kind of gets stuck in the mountains, unfortunately. But there's another river here. That way you can follow down maybe through here. If it's close, maybe we could do some fun stuff. I don't know. Uh, no fresh water there yet. Uh, foreign trade. Discover a second continent. We've seen three of them game. There's your extra military slot there, and we will go for a Pantheon. I actually feel like maybe I should go get that before somebody comes up behind me and grabs it. I need to heal anyway. I don't know. Oh my god, if they just... They freaking did! Oh! I was just like, I saw that there, I'm like, I should probably go and grab that damn thing. I'm gonna heal for a turn or two just to get a better hit. Oh my god, dude, that is such a troll. I'm like, I... Ah. Oh. I, if, would I go for this if I was Scotland? Oh, for the amenities? Yeah, Scotland may, has, certainly gets a bigger benefit um, from Artemis because obviously luxuries are big for them because they get the big bonuses to their science um, and great people production uh, if they have uh, ecstatic, if they're ecstatic. So obviously... Artemis is a smart strategy starting out a game with um, with Scotland, but to, it's it's a, it's too too vague a question just to answer on a face, but certainly it's a smart strategy. Uh, 
but again um on deity i feel like artemis is a is a big sacrifice uh to your build orders and stuff restart no irish raider what's up reset no it's, everything's brand new Settler in four. We are now working three tiles. Good growth potential there. Uh, I kind of like the idea. There's a there's a two two city center here. So, if I were to go here with the city, or the other potential would be to come down and grab this one. But we know that Scotland's in this direction somewhere. So I kind of don't want to. I would kind of prefer to move this way if anything, and then we could always backfill. We've got mountains here, so maybe there's maybe we'll be safe this way, a little bit more than this way. So I kind of feel like maybe there. That's a two-two city center. One, two, three. Yeah, and then one, two, three. That would be a good spot as well for a city. And that would grab the four-two. Grab this campus. Yeah, I think that has a lot of potential. Yeah, no, it's uh, Irish. It's don't forget your commands, folks. Come on, hey, boy, here we go. Oh, crap. Um... I would need uh, irrigation to work some of this, but I'm going to go stand on the chocolate and be ready for irrigation, I think, so I can get those. Hmm. Why not in a city next to the Natural Wonder? Oh, I will eventually, but that's a long ways away. My guess is, is that I'll probably put a city right here. One, two, three. Yeah, I would most definitely be putting a city, I'm sure, probably there on the river. Uh, or it could potentially settle the stone. Yeah, absolutely, I'll put a city on it. But I'm not going to go that far with my first city because I don't even know what's up here, right? Uh, with loyalty, you've got to make very smart decisions on where you go. Because if I put a city there and it turns out somebody's got two cities sitting right here, just give a free settler away. Oh crap. Uh, the question is, I, if I go stand on this hill. I'm pretty sure I survived that hit. God. Yeah, if I stand on the hill, I survive the hit, then I get a promotion. God, I hope I survive that hit. Be some pissed. There's a horsey. So we have that 2 3 tile with the river access. Truffles. Hoo hoo, baby. Calculated. Goody hut. Go like that, and then we'll grab that promotion. Oh, there's your pasture. I'm gonna grab the pasture now. Gives us another solid tile to work. That pop four. And then I'll see about other options um, yeah I think I go here that, that that's a nice orange there as well uh, I could buy out to that 2-2 two -two if necessary uh, for a good tile what is that 
No man ever wetted. Uh, let's take the heal. Oh, it's Jerusalem. We're not a first meet, of course. What do they want me to do? Uh, Eureka for irrigation. Uh, crap. Something to farm there. There's something to farm there as well. Be nice just to get the extra faith. Although, yeah. Recruit a great prophet. Oh, thanks, Kimasi. And send a trade route to Geneva. Okay. Think about it. I think I'm going to go here, though. And I'm going to just do a quick scout. Oh, okay. Some horsies out there. So I could I could actually buy that tile and work it. Then it's a 3-2. Uh, let's grab writing for now. Uh, no, I will not be. Not specifically. I mean, it's possible if a city state's in my way, I might take one, but I'm not doing it specifically as a Germany strategy. No. Well, hello there. That was gold, right? Okay. Um... I don't mind monument right now. Granary would be good. Builder would be good. I'm gonna go monument though. What are we working for tiles? I kind of like cutting my growth time in half and working a couple of three one tiles to be honest with you. And then, and then once we get there, we can grab the two, three tile again. Are you hamstringing yourself by having a general avoidance policy of ever owning a holy site? Uh, depends on the victory type you're going for. Obviously, if you're going for a holy victory, then you're definitely hamstringing yourself. <laughs> Obviously, that's not the case. If you're going for a culture victory, then absolutely you're hamstringing yourself. Uh, science victory, not much point, and neither with military. But if you're going for culture victory, then it's absolutely hamstringing yourself because there's lots of things you can do with uh, with the faith. Dead. Some more hills. There's another resource that could be farmed as well. Yeah. Yeah, generally speaking, science victories, not particularly likely that you would. Oh, there's another deer, too. Jeez. Getting into the, uh, into the depths down here. Um, yeah, there's not really a reason under science victory conditions to bother to bother with holy sites. Um, but yeah, if you ever decide to go culture, then I think I'm just going to come back to the city and heal and then head this way and maybe do some more of that direction and then let him come down this way and wherever is down here. Oh, I'll definitely be making sure I get the boost of irrigation, if that's what you're asking. But, right out of the gate, no, that won't be the tile I take. Because then I'm going to have two, four food tiles, and, <laughs> and still no good production tile. Uh, Jim Bob. What's going on, Jim Bob? Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Leave your shoes at the door and make yourself at home. Great to have you here. Uh, hello there. I'm going to cross over here and head south, I think. 
we pretty much know our surroundings. That's going to be city one. I think that may be city two, and then start settling in that direction. I'll let this warrior determine what's over here. Um, and then I get the suspicion that there's not going to really be much to my south because... I would have run into them by now, I would think, unless I'm like way at the north, but I've got desert up here, which means there's desert, then another, after the desert, there will be a different terrain, and then there'll be something else, so there's probably somebody by north, but I feel like this is probably the end of the south, if I had to guess. Goody hat. All right, you go to there. We got pop three. Okay, perfect. Let's take off the food production focus and go back to the production. All right, I think one thing I'm going to be doing too, because I'm going to like with all the space, I'm thinking like I might be pushing for 12 cities, especially with all the different luxuries uh, across all the different continents. 12 cities, if I could find the space for them, which is certainly the attempt of going with a large map. Um, so before long, I'm going to want to get my government square. Um... Another four one spice there. Uh, I'm gonna want to get my government square. Boost the wheel. Oh, I might have been wrong. Uh, okay, so they're over here somewhere. Um, well, that's that could be straight south here. I'm just they're coming from this direction. Um. I was in the middle of a thought and I distracted myself. My apologies. Uh, I'm going to grab that and immediately go like a dent. That's three improved tiles. Let's grab the monument. We'll work the three, two. Then we can go to the four, get really fast growth. We'll let him go in there and heal up. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm going to get the government square as early as I can. Get the uh, building that gives the 50% production towards settlers as well as um, the free builder. And then I'll really be able to take advantage of just pounding out these settlers really quickly and uh, filling up the lands with our stuff and our things. Writing is easy. Writing is easy. Uh, we are continuing to pound that faith, but oh. Ooh, hello there, Stockholm. And I was, well, I was kind of right. It's definitely the bottom, I'd say. Uh, wow, very nice. Some more science for us. First meet. The barbarian camp south. Yeah, I know. I already walked past that. I walked past that. Um... Hey, how come the thing didn't happen? Pop six shouldn't be a problem. What's up? 
D. Shuffman, good to see ya. Mita Akiko. I don't know why the animation thing didn't happen, but we are being raided. And just in time for the end. And to follow. Netzel, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. And welcome. What's up, GM? Thank you very much for that. I don't know why you didn't get the special gif. I don't know what's happening. Streamlabs, you're failing me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of this episode. I uh, appreciate being here. Uh, a fun Germany run. Uh, a lot of space. Almost too much space. It's making me nervous. Uh, we'll see you next time, folks. And thanks for being here. Bye-bye.